you'll learn how to capture pre-labeled photos, instantly record detailed captions on your photos, and edit your images all on the fly. To begin using the Photo ID camera, select the shutter icon located on the assignment you're working on. Let's begin with a description of the icons and functionality you'll see on the camera screen. When you enter the camera for each new assignment, it'll always be set to its default structure setting, which is dwelling, exterior, front elevation, which is normally the very first image you'll have to capture at every property inspection. In the event that the first image you're capturing is a different type of structure or category, simply tap the tag structure icon, which is located on the bottom right corner of the camera screen. We'll discuss the tag screen and how to organize your inspection images in more depth in the next video series. For now, we'll discuss all the camera features in more detail. The photo ID icon located at the bottom of the camera screen represents the shutter button of the camera. Tap the shutter icon once to capture a single photo during your inspection. You can take photos in portrait or landscape format by simply rotating your mobile device to your desired position. The app also allows you to capture images by hitting the volume button on the side of the device, which makes it easier to take a picture using one hand. By long pressing the shutter icon, the camera will enter into its listening mode that will instantly add detailed captions to your pre-category titled images. Once the shutter icon is pressed for a few seconds, you'll hear a beep and the camera screen will indicate it's listening and ready to transcribe what you say. Keep in mind, that volume buttons will only allow users to capture still images, and only the app shutter icon will allow you to record captions to your images while on the camera screen. After any image is captured using the caption recorder, a four-second preview of the image just taken will appear to allow you to preview and or edit any misspelled words instantly, thereby limiting any additional corrections in post. If the image's preview screen disappears before you have a chance to perform needed edits, simply tap on the Quick Edit icon at the bottom left of the camera screen and tap on the text of the caption that appears at the bottom of the screen. A window will appear where you can edit the caption verbally or by text. You can also share and add custom annotations to the photo by selecting one of the icons at the top of the image preview screen. These two options are also available on Photo ID's gallery screens. At the top of the camera screen, you'll see a row of five icons. You can enable a time and date stamp to be embossed on each photo by tapping the square calendar icon. The time and date will appear in red at the bottom of the screen when it's active, tapping the icon again to turn it off. Moving to the right along the top of the camera screen, you can choose from two sizes of photo formats that the camera will take. Widescreen photos, known as 16x9 format, or standard size photos, known as 4x3 format. Moving along the screen to the right, the next icon determines your camera's flash setting. The flash settings are traditional with most cameras. However, we've also integrated a pivotal flashlight, which allows our users to capture images in dark places, such as an attic or crawl space, without having to use a separate flashlight. The grid icon at the right of the flash settings allows users to open a grid to align paper documents you may capture during the inspection. At the center left of the camera screen is the app's image import icon. Tap this icon to import images into the category folder that's currently selected from your mobile device's photo library. This feature is extremely useful when needing to import images from an outside source. The camera zoom feature has been incorporated on the camera screen by simply pinching outward or inward on the screen or tapping on the numeric icon on the camera screen, which also enables you to adjust your zoom preference with ease. On the top right corner of the screen, you'll notice a compass icon, which enables a compass to show you the direction you're facing while capturing your images. While the compass is active, your photos will be embossed with the cardinal direction each image is captured. If the roof category is selected on the tag screen, you'll notice a pitch gauge icon appears on the top left corner of the screen, which allows you to capture the pitch of the roof while you're either on the ground or on the roof itself. Finally, the home icon on the top left exits the camera and returns you to the assignment feed screen. That's how to create and manage assignments in the Photo ID app. Our other videos in this series will demonstrate how to get the most out of the Photo ID app.
including operating the app's camera, and how to organize and edit your inspection images. If you would like any further clarification on any of the items demonstrated in this or any other series, or if you just have general questions about our platform, please email us at info at uscope.net. Thank you for visiting. Uscope, assisting you every inch of the way.